People get the wrong idea about adultery. They think it's incredibly important to be able to prove adultery in order to get a divorce. In actual fact, it isn't. And I think if you can avoid uh, going on the basis of adultery, it's so much the better. Because in order to get a divorce, you have to demonstrate that your marriage has irretrievably broken down. And you do that in one of five ways. One is unreasonable behavior. Two is adultery. Three is desertion. Four is separation for two years by consent. And five is separation for five years where consent's not required. Now, adultery uh, is actually having full sexual intercourse whilst married with somebody else. And it doesn't matter if you are separated from your spouse, it can still be adultery. So people write into the blog and say, it can't be adultery, can it? Because we've been separated. And the answer is, yes, it can. However, if your spouse knows about the adultery and has known about it for six months and hasn't done anything about it, then he can be taken to have condoned the adultery and it can't be used in divorce proceedings. But by far the easiest way, the most simple way, is to allege unreasonable behaviour and that can cover a whole range of issues and that will get you a divorce.